So he went south, toward Chile. I guess Aguirre had some friends in high places, because there were U.S. tanks waiting for us. We hadn't had support in a long time, so it felt a little like Christmas. Except our present was a crazy Russian colonel. Truth is, I'd had worse holidays. Bravo 2, this is River Guard. Come in, over. Go ahead, River Guard. Kirilenko's last known position puts him in a settlement, possibly a compound, near the Talonay Wind Farms. Do whatever you can to take him alive. But you know the drill. Do what you have to do. Understood, River Guard. Bravo 2, out. Kodiak 3, we're changing routes. Welcome to the Red Zone.
Transmit target coordinate. Negative on ready to engage. Awaiting target coordinate. Ready to engage, set target over. Marlo, combat air is flying now. Let's get on the move. All right, we're clear. Nice work, Bravo 2. We'll get you to that Russian yet. Kodiak 1, we're making progress. 
Good, but not good enough. Let's make that bill look like the surface of the fucking moon. Had some real interesting shit on him. Cell phone, a bunch of calling cards, 50 grand in US currency. But that ain't the good part. He says he knows where Kirilenko is, and he says he'll tell us if we let him go. Alright, give us a few seconds, huh? Hey, how long you wreck? Ten seconds. Four. Five. Four. Bingo. Just. Rally up, fellas. Okay, I've got Kirilenko's location. Marines, we're gonna need your Humvees and your shooters. Whatever you need, sir. What'd you say to that prisoner, Sergeant? Nothing. Just tell him why we were here. He just gave it up. Yep. Said he had family in Houston. Jackson. 
Sometimes people are just people, man. Mount up. <laughs>